Senator Sadonke, you were in the National Assembly, and so you definitely understand what it means to put out laws that would affect different states of the country. We've had guests here who talked about this matter, and they said they need, um, one of them suggested that the National Assembly needs to step up its activities as regards lawmaking to, prote lawmaking to protect the country, citizens from every part around the country. Now, what kind of law, I mean, now that they are coming back from recess, they are already back from their recess, what should they be looking at in terms of legislature to ensure that when someone breaks the law, something can be done in terms of punishment without necessarily having to wait for an order from the Inspector General of Police? Because that's one of the things that the Governor of Benue State talked about. He could not get the security apparatus in the state to act decisively because they're waiting for orders from the Inspector General of Police. Uh, let me, before I address the, the, main, the main question, but let me address uh, the issue of uh, the governors complaining that they are not, they are chief security of their state, that is uh, true. Of course, they don't control the police, so to say, but in every state there is a commissioner of police, there is a zonal uh, IG or DIG, as the case may be. Not only that, they have weekly meetings, they report to them, they tell them that I have, uh, governor will say, I have received a report from a particular local government or social so, so area, please send your men. He doesn't have to come and talk to Abu Jafir or to the IG. That's my belief, and it has been happening. Number two, a very fundamental question you have asked. Yes, a state law has been made, and it's, it's a law. It must be enacted until it is challenged or until when it is revisited by those who have made the law. Because the dynamism of the law is that once it is made, it could be revisited. Either you, de you delete or abrogate or whatever you will do. But that is just by the way. Like you said, the National Assembly has a, they have a, a, a role to play. And like we all know, you, uh, there is state law like it has been enacted and there is a national law. This law they have enacted it affecting the Fulani headsmen and the, the farmers too because they say the law, of course I have seen it, it will protect both the farmers, the wrestlers and the rest. But let me tell you one thing that people are making silent about it. There, there is, the Fulanis, they have, they have what they call uh, cattle roots. It cut across all the state of this federation, not only the state, in Africa as a whole. I, that I know. They call it uh, uh, brutally in Hausa, meaning cattle route. It's an international route that you, they come from, whether starting from, say, Mali, coming to Nigeria, to Katina or Sokoto, come to Kaduna, North Central, come to Abu Nasarawa, pass to Benue, go to, up to eastern, uh, uh, southeast, uh, uh, is some part of Africa. That is what we call the route. And as, long as they go along, wherever they see empty land, they stay and graze. This route, uh, this route uh, if you go to the office of the Surveyor General, is, is there. You ask yourself or ask people, are these uh, routes there now? They are not. Because of the influx of people, because of the population growth, all these planning categories had been taken away. Some stayed deliberately, some because of the population growth. So the, the best thing is that they should re, the National Assembly, my uh, the colleagues that are there now, should revisit this cutting route. That's number one. Number two, the proposal that is being brought, that you, you, they, there must be colony, because we cannot say all Fulani live Benue. I believe the law is not even saying all the Fulani's, or because, let me say it quickly, it's not only Fulani that are headmen in Benue, or in any state. Like somebody say, I heard your, one of your, uh, the person you interview, he said there are ex-military, ex-police, ex-civil servant who have gone into uh, livestock production. You can't call them uh, Fulanese, but they're headmen. And because of that, give them a place. Provide a place for them, and who will do the allocation is the state governors. What I expected the governor to do with greatest respect for those who are doing this and anti grazing is to provide the uh, ranching who they are saying, okay, we are giving you this one hectare or two hectares, depending on the population of your cattle and your people. You provide a, a, a borehole, but possibly maybe later school, and you stay there. Once you are seen outside, you have. Uh, uh, you have, you have uh, broken the law and you must be punished. But this 
grazing land is not given or ranching is not provided and you said any port a person seen or any herdsman seen would cattle uh, uh, take out the, the the cattle punish him arrest him can, can i take that, it that can i take it that's just uh, respect uh, my apologies uh, that, can i take it from you that you uh, can i hashtag you that i stand with the allah killer um, breeders association that until we modify the anti-open grazing bill then the killings will continue no 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 game by far from that please i don't believe in killing even an animal without you following the due process as a muslim i know if i'm killing my cow i should know how to kill it or go to whatever talk less of human being i i'm not supporting i'm for the avoidance of that i am not supporting yet allah i'm not supporting anybody killing anybody in nigeria i'm a human rights activist i am i i, I, I believe in my face if you kill somebody without any reason without due process go to court and if he's found uh, uh, guilty then he should be sentenced to death no i'm not uh, uh, pro, uh, supporting anybody but i'm saying if you see the law is, is meant for people not not the otherwise and if you think that you are going to create a law that will put everybody in a correct perspective or in the correct place provide that place for him or for her uh, that is the truth of the matter. When you, uh, you have done that, so be it. And I understand. And there must be a collective uh, kind of effort, policy by the federal government. The last man that asked this question is very fundamental. Let's go back to that uh, uh, roots. Let's go back to uh, federal government sub, uh, collaborating with state governors. Provide the land for us. Because all the land in the state... Fortunately, belong to the state government. They control it. They allocate in urban centers and whatever. So also farm. If they provide that, the federal government may now come like they're saying, no, they believe in colony. What I, I had, uh, I was saying that they're going to provide in their own thinking the about colony where Pulani will be allocated. What they must collaborate with the state government. And when that is done, anybody seen certainly roaming about within the city of Abuja here or in Makadi or in Latvia, you are flouting the road. We, 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 we take you. And number two, sir, let me say quickly, Yimba, like the kind of people we are hearing who are causing this mayhem to innocent citizens are carrying sophisticated weapons. Like the one of your interviewers said, you have to get into the root of this. Who are these people? Where are they coming from? Why are they getting suffocated uh, weapons? Because the ordinary full animal that we are in primary school, we used to see them in our primary school, uh, playing ground or in our farms, is only uh, stick, a big stick. Some of them don't even go with the cutlasses, like they mentioned, or bow and arrow, but only that. And they, they control them. And small boys do control this, and not even big men. To come and say now we are having uh, headers. My apologies, uh, let me just talk, uh, butt in here. My apologies, let me just quickly butt in here again. Because uh, there are views that are being shared just across the board that perhaps this situation is being politicized. Do you think that there is an element of politicking that is happening in this? Uh, you see, unfortunately, Gimba, uh, uh, we Nigerians, because of the beauty of democracy, freedom of speech, say whatever you want to say against the government or against the president, against the governor, against the senators, the House of Representatives, every, everybody said a lot of things. Yes, that is politics. Uh, people don't even reason that. Why is this happening? Unfortunately, the, the worst one is that saying, oh, maybe the headers are causing this mayhem because the president is a full animal and maybe he, and he's a cheap patron. I don't want to believe the president that I know will go and agree with anybody or group of person, go and cause mayhem, go and kill anybody because I'm your patron or because I'm the president. That is not correct. Number two, this thing started even during Obasanjo. Was it because he's, he, 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 does he have a cattle in Ota Farm or in Mambila? It's not correct. Jonathan, good luck, the, the, the immediate past president. This thing, there was this mayhem in my state and in every other part in North Center, in Kaduna. Is it because he, he, he came from Okito or whatever? It's not correct. So the, the politicization is that let's col uh, colorize this, let's politicize this thing uh, to say it's because they are doing this because Mr. President is a 
Fulani who is from the northern, all because he's a Muslim. They are bringing so many things that will not help us because they are bringing tribal sentiment, they are bringing religious sentiment, and so many other things. The best thing I think we should do, Gimba, and any other person listening to me, is for the government, for the authorities to put their head together. And there's nothing Mr. President could have done better than sending the police. And the whole IG uh, now is in Benway. Unfortunately, you can see even the man, he has gone with his men to curtail, to, 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 to chase out this uh, miscreant. And now two of their, their, their policemen have been uh, killed.